guys, today we're going to be doing a custom toolbar. So let me first tell you what a toolbar is. So a toolbar is this right here, this little box. And in order to create a custom one, we must know where to delete this toolbar and then create one by ourselves. So we're going to first go to manifest and we're going to Android manifest. And we see that the theme in our thing is app theme. And it says at style. And we see that styles.xml is down here under values and under res. So we're going to go to styles.xml. I'm going to X this out. And then we see this dark action bar, which I'm going to now type in no action bar. So then now that we go to activity main, our action bar disappears. And now to create our custom one. So I'm going to go to layout. I'm going to right click. I'm going to click new. I'm going to go to layout resource file. I'm just going to call it toolbar and I'm going to click enter. And you see that it just creates it and we're going to go to text. And you notice that it says our parent is linear layout. Now I want to change that. I'm going to call it toolbar and you see this first one Android support v7 widget toolbar. I'm going to double click. I'm just going to click down here and it's going to change it for me. And now I don't need the orientation so I might as well delete that. And now we have layout width and layout height. Now I need to add a background to my toolbar because currently there's nothing. So I'm going to write background and it's going to pop up. I'm going to click enter. I'm going to say add color and then I'm going to say color primary. And it's completely covering the screen. That's my toolbar. However, the, that's happening because layout height is match parent, which I need to change to wrap content which now changes back to the original toolbar length and height and so I want to go to activity main.xml and then over there I'm going to type in an include tag which will include the toolbar into my activity main so I'm going to do this I'm going to type in include I'm going to give it a space I'm going to type in layout and then I'm going to type in the layout that I want to include at layout toolbar and then I'm going to slash it and close it. Now you see that our toolbar looks kind of funny here. We're going to change the padding making it delete. There we go. And now our toolbar is there. Now I need to add an ID to my toolbar. So I'm going to type in ID. I'm going to click enter. I'm going to write at plus ID. And then I'm going to give it my own ID. So I'm going to call it M Custom Toolbar. So I'm going to, this basically means my custom toolbar. And now you notice that the Hello World text is overlapping this. In order to fix this, all we got to do is write layout underscore below. So we're going to right below and then we're going to say at plus ID now we're going to write at ID slash my custom toolbar so now the text move below another thing we don't have in our text view is an ID so let's add one we're going to call it at plus ID and then text view number one sorry number one Notice that you cannot have spaces in any of the IDs or the layouts. That's it for this tutorial, but the next tutorial we're going to learn how to add a title and an icon. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching.